for Jake Gyllenhaal, our person of the week. His new movie, Nightcrawler, about a young man who chases the police scanner. I'm looking for a job. And he finds one armed with his own lens, peering into the lives of others with no filter. We went to find Jake Gyllenhaal here in New York City. No filter there either. What do you hope people will stop and think about when they see this? The story is about where we are right now. You know, he couldn't exist at any other time. A young man getting the image at any cost. Hopefully they'll walk out saying to themselves, wow, have, are we complicit somehow in creating a guy like this. Hoping people think the kind of role that has fueled Gyllenhaal all along. He credits his parents in part, born in Los Angeles, his mother a screenwriter, his father a director, but they drew the line. And we brought up a story we'd read about his childhood. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay. but you really wanted to try to get into Mighty Ducks. <laughs> Did you say a lot of people would say? Well, I, I read this. A lot of people are yeah. talking about the fact well, that Well, I don't think really they are, but they will be after this. <laughs> 11 or so, and he landed that prized role on Mighty Ducks. And they said that I couldn't do it because it's very important for them that I get a proper education. And, um, and do you remember the tears in the kitchen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Who doesn't remember any tears in a kitchen? A temporary setback for a boy who would stand up in that classroom, his first movie, City Slickers. My dad's name Mitch, and he's... He's a submarine commander. He's grown up since then, and you ever since every green. role carefully Can chosen. You understand? Sir, yes, sir. After Jarhead, Remember always remembering our troops, working with Headstrong. Reminding all of us that veterans come home with a lot of damage. It's very important to me. Their feelings and issues they deal with or don't want to deal with and everything in between. He took on that breakthrough role in Brokeback Mountain. You know, it could be like this. Is that something you consciously think about? When you say, yeah, I'll, I'll take that on. I feel some sort of responsibility, yeah. So when people ask you, when are you going to do a romantic comedy? When are you going to laugh? <laughs> um, well, I laugh all the time, so that's the... Just so everyone knows. Just so you know. It's, <laughs> because I think sort of going off into the dark is really illuminating. His new role, Lou Bloom, testing the boundaries. How far is too far with that camera? It's a disturbing guy. Yeah. Is it disturbing that you play creepy so well? <laughs> Um, I think that's a question you should ask my mom. The same mom who said no to Mighty Ducks. There with his dad, his actress sister, a family, putting a premium on careful choices. I feel blessed. And so... Um, blessed every day that they said no to the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a great movie. It was a great movie. And so we choose Jake Gyllenhaal, our person of the week, making careful choices, a lesson from his parents way back when in that kitchen. I hope to see you right back here Monday. Good night. This is ABC.